What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does that break it? Hello everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming, I am Aaron. Tonight in Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-Earth there has been a massive update and glyphs have come to the game, that's right. Let's talk about glyphs, baby, and the bonuses you receive. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things like the stats they lift. Let's talk about glyphs. Let's talk about glyphs. That's right, I have been called the songbird of my generation. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you want to leave a tip for that special song I just wrote for everybody, make sure that goes down into the donation section below. All right, so glyphs are obviously very complicated, and I know there's a bunch of questions, so I think the best way I'm going to tackle it for now is to just glyph up my Road to Rivendell team. You guys can see kind of my thought process and some things you want to look for, and we're also going to talk about the system in general as we go. Actually, that makes me uh, think of the first thing I'm going to talk about is where we get glyphs. And it's kind of a bummer, right? In the song, I told you we're going to talk about the good and the bad. If you want to hear the song again, no, you don't, you don't want to hear the song again. Okay, um, so when we get to our hard nodes here, right now they are going to have their own hard nodes, which is a bit of a bummer, right? Because before we had to decide how many heroes we were farming and how much gear we were farming... Now we get to decide how many heroes we're farming, how much gear we're farming, and how many glyphs we're farming. So a uh, really big bummer there. There's not really any way to sugarcoat that. That is not good, especially for free-to-play players. But as I've said in the beginning of the game, the best use of your energy, or excuse me, of your gems is always buying energy. And that stands extra true right now because you're going to need to get these glyphs. There we go. Now let's go ahead and glyph up my Road to Rivendell team and hopefully we'll be able to answer some questions. So the first thing we'll do is we'll pull up Strider here and our glyph interface. So you obviously have six slots and you have major and minor sets, which it'll tell you right here, armor piercer, set of two, so that's a minor. So you can stack up to three set bonuses on this, right? So if you use six total from the armor piercer category, then you're gonna gain 2%, 2%, 2%, and those do apply individually, and they are additive, not multiplicative, multiplicative, mu multiplicative, which uh, the developer said in the Q&A, so I'm not just making that up. Bloodlust, again, a set of two, but last stand here you see is a major glyph set, so you have to pile all four glyphs in somewhere to get the bonus there. So you can either do a four major and a two minor, or you can do three minor sets to make sure you're getting those bonuses. So a couple of my guild members have already talked about Bloodlust on Strider because when you use his massive AOE ability, if he, right here it says it, when this character defeats an enemy, gain 30% turn meter. So if he destroys one or two people, he's gaining 30, 60, if you get three, 90%. Big AOE hitters such as Ironhide and Strider can really benefit from this set. And my guildmates are kind of saying uh, throw all six in for Bloodlust to get three separate stacks of that. So that's uh, that's what we're going to do. So as you can see here, I've already upgraded a couple of these. So all of these shapes, I want to make sure my head isn't really blocking anything. All of these shapes fit in the number one slot there, right? Like as soon as I click on a different shape, it's going to highlight the number two. If I click all the way down here, that's going to highlight the number four slot. So... These are the only ones that can go there. Now remember, as I move my head here, right behind my head, on every glyph, you're going to have a set stat, which is your like your health right here. And especially set on number one, they're all going to be health. On number two, they're all going to be damage. On number three, they're all going to be defense. And then once you get down to four, you have some variation, right? It's either health, damage, focus, I think you can get defense and resistance on some of them also. And actually, now that I look at it, I didn't even get any six glyphs on this. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something different than uh the six bloodlust, because I don't even have a sixth one to fit there. That's a bummer. Alright, back to what I was saying. So we're gonna run probably two sets of bloodlust and then we'll figure something else out for the other one. So our major stat there is health on all of these, so that's not really a concern. As you can see, they're all the exact same level. So when you upgrade them to level 5, you're going to get that bonus. What I'm looking for now in the secondary stats, which come as you upgrade them, I'll demonstrate. You know what? I'll demonstrate right here. We got a number 1 sitting here, so let's upgrade. 
So our, our main stat here is gonna be exactly the same as the rest of them. But as you upgrade them for gold, each time it's gonna reveal a different stat. So you got here HP bonus, damage bonus, uh, what is BM? BM bonus, uh, I don't even remember what that is. Why am I blanking on that? Let's go back real quick. Uh, this is how you look at it. If you click out here somewhere, your stats are right here. And then if you click this I, it's gonna tell you what they are. Block mitigation, that's right, that's right. Block mitigation, super random one, not really that important. All right, so let's go back into this. Sorry about that. Uh, my brain's kind of everywhere right now. No, don't move that, move me. Stop it. Come on, there we go. All right, I'm sorry this is kind of all over the place on a rant, but I'm trying to get the information out as soon as possible. So the other thing you can kind of see here, I'm a bad weatherman still, that little bar indicates how good that particular upgrade roll was, right? Because when you press upgrade, there is a chance, you see right there, 0.5% up to 1%. So I got 0.5, or excuse me, 0.58% upgrade on that. So that's a terrible roll on that. But at my block mitigation, the stat I care about the least probably, I got a massive roll of 0.94. So as you're rolling here, you can actually see how good of a roll you got. And this is kind of foreshadowing there. You see there's multiple bars. You're gonna be able to upgrade these things significantly more in the future. So it's not gonna be the same stats here forever. And as you can see, these uh, little scrolls down here are part of how you're gonna do that, which are exclusive taken from the Mines of Moria right now. So the next thing, once you have all of these upgraded, why did all my number one slots change? That's weird. Where'd they all go? Is this an interface error? Oh, I was looking at, <laughs> I was looking at armor piercing. Bloodlust is where I want to be. I'm losing my mind, guys. All right, here we go. So now you're just going to look at all of your slots here and look at the best one. And the very first secondary stat you want to look for on pretty much every single character you have is speed. So if you have any of these with speed, that's going to be the one you go with. All right, so we got one right here with speed, a 0.74. That's actually a pretty good roll too, I think. Uh, where is it? Oh, no, it's 0.5 to 1.5. So that's not a great roll, but it's still speed of any kind is still better than no speed. All right, so now let's go to our number two slot. What do we got here? We got a speed 0.66 and a speed 1.35. Well, guess who wins? Unless the other stats here are total trash, the speed's always gonna win. And this one's actually a really good mod because you have speed, uh, critical damage, and critical chance. The focus is when you're concerned about placing Banes. He doesn't really place Banes other than the burn, and I think he has a pretty good shot at placing that regardless. So the focus, while it helps a little bit, is not a main concern. But for a big damage hero like Strider, the critical damage and critical chance are going to be huge. But again, speed is king. I'm going to have to say it all the time. But I'm sorry, that's just the way this game is. All right, so here we go. Let's get some more Bloodlust in here. We have speed on this one. And speed on this one, 1.34 and 0.82. So if I have speed on both of them, I'm going to look at some of those secondary stats. So we have block chance, armor, and HP. Eh. We have damage, resilience, HP, and speed. This one's my winner because he is a damage hero. He's also going to get some HP speed. So even though the other one was a little bit faster... I would still rather have the secondary stats as long as they both have speed. Some heroes, you are going to want to max speed no matter what, and everything else is going to be secondary. Like Mary, Mary's going to be crazy speed focused so he can get that haste out for the rest of the members of the team and put uh, the force taunt on there and stuff. Going to mark them. So really, really, really important for some characters to just have speed. But Strider, we're going to want some damage too. All right, so number four here, what do we got? We got no speed on this one, so let's upgrade. Another, oh, that's a good speed roll. Another thing that is gonna need to come to the game are uh, better filters and better upgrade options. Uh, it took a while to come to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, so I'm, I'm not gonna be wildly surprised if we gotta run with this interface for a little bit, but we did gain some things from Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes uh, that they, they put into the game that they learned everybody liked. Like it's showing you how good the upgrade is. That's a really helpful kind of little tool. So you don't remember the numbers. It's just giving you a nice demonstration of what they can be. 
So again, I think we only had one with speed. No, we got two with speed. So we have another choice here. Speed, resilience, HP, and critical chance. And then speed, focus, HP, and block chance. So we're talking what? Resilience or block chance? Oh no, the critical chance. I want the critical chance. So we'll take this one. All right, so there we go. So now we have at the right behind me here in the very bottom, you have the set bonuses. It's going to show you what you're using. So I've got two current bloodlust set bonuses. Uh, so let's move my head here so we can see five and six down here. All right, so now we need to find another minor set. Life Stealer might be kind of good. Uh, Raider deals 2% more damage against enemies with more than 50% health. Shield Wall, Taunter Provoke, which we don't have. And then some big sets again. Uh, I might go with the Health Steal, just because he is doing a lot of damage. So he's going to be pretty good at keeping himself up. And we do have a 5 and a 6 option. So let's go ahead and upgrade our Life Steal sets. In my initial video I made about Glyphs, I also said uh, Ironhide would be a big one for Lifesteal. He's going to be another one that you're going to want to maybe do uh, two Bloodlust, two Lifesteal kind of thing. And I'm not making full-on uh, you know, plans for every single hero at this point. I'm just throwing out some tips that you might want to look for. Down the road, as we have more and more time to test and see how they do in raids and arenas and stuff... We're going to have sets that are going to come out that I'm going to recommend. Right now, I'm not recommending anything. I'm just giving you stats that you want to look for. So right here, total bummer. I got to keep moving my head all over the place. We don't have speed on any of these. So uh, what we got? Crit chance, HP, armor, block mitigation. Uh, I'm pretty sure this uh, critical chance, critical damage is going to win. Yeah, critical chance, critical damage is going to win there for sure because he is a damaging hero. And in number six, let's upgrade these last two. We got some speed on that one. Yahtzee. Got speed on that one too. Excellent. Every mod you have... Excuse me, Glyph. I'm in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes mode. Every Glyph you have that has speed is a winner. Oh, this is a great one too. Speed, critical chance, and critical damage. That's a massive massive mod upgrade no equip all right so there we go so now we have strider and he is looking pretty good i would have loved to have the uh, bloodlust on all of them but that is not too shabby now his power is all the way up to 10,601. so we got some really nice bonuses from the glyphs and the sets so let's go ahead and take a look here at a hero that has nothing to do with damage, right? Mary is here, but his utility is outstanding. But we really don't care about how much damage he does. So Bloodlust isn't really going to help him that much. Because how often is he actually going to defeat an enemy? Armor piercing? Not his thing, right? Let's see. Uh, I think Lembus is going to be a great one for him. Gain one stamina on wave start, and after the first time, this character uses an ability in a wave. Because we want that haste out as quickly as possible. That is the best thing he does for his team. So let's go ahead and get him in a Lembus set. And do we have enough of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six? Okay, so we have our options here, which is good. Because if I only have, what, two on here for six, and I don't get speed on either one of them then I'm not going to use that, and I'm going to try to get it in 5 and 4. So let's just see how many we can get speed on here. And then that will indicate, good news, we got speed there. That will indicate which four slots for this major set we want to use. 1.19, beautiful. I would say the two stats you're going to want to look at for a support hero, especially one like Mary, health and speed. Keep him alive and keep him as fast as humanly possible. So we got speed and health right there and resilience. That's a real nice one. Speed, resilience, crit chance, we don't care about. No speed. So speed and HP are our winners and resilience doesn't hurt. So that's a great mod for him right there. What do we got here? Speed, uh, focus, we don't really need. Crit damage, we don't really need. All right, let's see if we can get anything better. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about any of this, please leave it in the comments section down below. Like I said, I'm going to make a lot of videos about mods. They're pretty much going to be constantly coming out. I'll probably try to talk about each hero individually if possible at some point. But stick with me. This is still just a part-time job for me since 
I haven't gotten uh, anyone rich to sponsor me for for starting a new career yet. If you know anyone, know any millionaires that are, are loving my content and want to sponsor me, you just let me know. But we got speed here on another Limbus, so we'll take that one. Uh, what do we got here? We got a six here with speed and HP. That's BEA beautiful. Uh, let's just, it's really not that expensive to upgrade right now. It's not exactly cheap, but let's, let's make sure we're getting the best nods possible for now. So we got speed, HP, speed, HP. Uh, what do we got here? Block chance and critical chance. And we got armor. We'll take the armor, I guess. Again, keep him alive is key. Speed and HP. All right. Let's see if we get anything here on, all right, we got, we got a speed right away. Having some pretty good luck here with speed. That's pretty outstanding. No speed right there, so clear winner. Equip. All right, so there's our four set right there. We got speed and HP on almost all of them. So now we just need to find a uh, number two or a minor set that we want to use. So let's see here. Armor piercing, bloodlust, life stealer. I think life stealer is going to end up winning. He's not going to do a ton of damage, but if we can keep him alive, we're doing good things. Uh, cause he's not going to have taunt or provoke. All right. Let's see what we can get here with life stealer. Uh, we need what? Five and six. Okay. Thank God we do have a speed here on six. So we don't need to shift around any of the other ones. Uh, do we have a speed on five? We do not. So we are going to have to shift this around and see if we can get a five on Lembus here with speed. We do. Okay. So equip. So now we need to shift out one of these that gets speed for the Limbus. Come on, give me speed. I, I said too early, I'm having great luck with the speed. Come on, don't do this to me. One of the, okay, there we go. We finally got a speed. Resilience armor, okay, whatever. So let's go ahead and equip you all right so now as you can see behind my head we have our two set by bonuses major and minor and we have speed on every single one correct speed 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 perfect confirm so that's what you want to look for on a support style hero don't really care about damage or anything all we want to do is make him as fast as possible oh man he went all the way up to 11-4. That is good, good stuff. Our team is going through the roof. All right, Pippin again. His heal is based on 18% uh, of this character's math, max health. So speed and uh, what health are going to be e equally as important as they were for Mary. These are going to be absolutely huge. Um, let's try to get him... Do, do, do. I kind of might want, I might want last stand on him. Anytime he drops below 25% health, he's going to get a heal. I might try to run, I might try to run last stand on him. We still want glyphs that are going to have speed and health on them. So just to save a little bit of money and time for right now, if I get a speed and a health on one, I'm just going to take that one. And we will see what we can do. Man, I used all my luck. Okay, there's a speed and a health. Perfect. You equip immediately. Uh, what else we got here? Those are all sixes. Man, we may not be able to use last stand here just because we didn't get enough speed. Let's see if we can get a Limbus set with speed. Because that's really the most important thing. So if we can get a speed here. And these are the kind of decisions you're going to have to make until we've been playing long enough that we are getting enough speed options. Equip. Uh, what do we got? You're a one. Let's raise you up. HP only. I'm starting to get a bad feeling we're not going to have enough speed options here to get any of these sets. 
Got some speed on that one though. Equip. All right. We're just missing one. That one doesn't have any speed. Ugh. Oh, this one does. Oh, I already have one with speed there. Wait, so do I have speed on all these? Speed? Speed? I told you you guys were going to get sick of hearing speed. All right, cool. So we have a Limbus set at least with all speed. Cool. All right, can we get Life Stealer at all? Uh, well, that one doesn't have speed though. Um, does it have HP? All right, it has HP. So I guess, I guess we'll take it. Definitely not ideal, but, and this one doesn't have speed either. We're just going to have to make some concessions. Uh, so now I'm going to go to like, which one has more HP? Cause we have to get him as much HP as possible for the set bonuses. All right. Why is this telling me I don't have the set bonus? Cause this one isn't Limbus because these are confusing. Equip. That one has speed and HP. There we go. Okay, so now I have Lembus. I have speed. God, that was a speed and HP, and I wasn't using it. All right, so he's got Lembus here, and he's got Life Stealer. We're missing speed on one, so that's something to look forward to in the future. But at least we got it. Uh, all right, let's finish out here. 10,000. All right. Well, let's just do Sam next. Sam's a bit of a mixed bag here. He retaliates a lot, uh, but we also want to try to look for focus as a secondary stat because that's going to help him land uh, that blind. So let's try to get focus on secondary stats as much as possible. Now, he does have taunt or provoke, so shield wall's probably going to be a good one for him. Uh, vitality, I'm not, he has a heal on that, that blind also, so he's actually very hard to kill already, so I'm not too concerned about that, so we might just go with some shield wall, yeah, we might just go with some shield wall and like some, some, uh, armor piercing, since he does retaliate a lot, although that raider might be nice too, you know what, I'm gonna put him in raider, just because he's going to retaliate a lot. He's going to hit a lot of people that have above 50%. So let's try, uh, what was it? Shield wall. And we'll do a uh, raider. Focus, good. HP, good. No speed, bad. Focus and speed, good. We like that one. Let's just put that one in. We're going we're gonna to save time a little bit here. If we get speed and focus on it, we're going to take it. Damage is also a really good one. Damage and HP, that's a pretty decent one. Uh, critical damage and critical chance, that's a very good one for an attacker. Uh, speed, nothing else there. Speed, focus, love it. And HP, phenomenal one. Love it. Uh, we do have one six down here. HP, speed, and focus. Love it. We're getting kind of lucky again. Uh, this one has HP, focus, no speed. HP and speed. We'll take that. Uh, unless four's got a better one. What do we got here? Critical damage, focus, speed, and HP. Beautiful. All right. So let's go up here to our raider. Please get speed so I don't have to do the dance again. You know what? Critical chance, focus, damage, and HP. That's a great one. I might just run with that anyway. No speed hurts, but the other stats on that are really good. And because he retaliates so much, I would almost say speed is not as important. But here you go. Speed, damage, and critical damage. That's a phenomenal one too. So there we go. He is set, right? What was that one? Yeah, no speed on that one. We're just gonna we're gonna run with that set because a lot of his damage is that retaliate. Like I said, I'm not quite as concerned about his speed. All right, so good old Frodo. Just like in the movies, if he dies, would you even miss him? Um, but we're gonna want to put damagey kind of stuff on him. 
Uh, let's see. Lifesteal, Raider. Uh, doesn't really do Bane, so the Withering's not going to help. So we're just going to do Armor Piercing, and uh, we may not even do... We might just do sets of two for him. Do we have speed on any of these left here? Maybe put him in... Because he is really squishy. If we could get him in some lifesteal, I wouldn't hate that. But it's... it's He's already a really fast hero, but we still want the speed. Nothing. Great. We are striking out. All right. Do we have speed on that? Nope. We have speed on that, though. Speed, critical damage. The other two aren't great, but... Sometimes beggars can't be choosers, and this early in the game, we are definitely beggars. That's a crappy one, too. Holy cow. Uh, no, I don't want to upgrade that anymore. Thank you. That's a bad one. Wow. Got some bad armor-piercing ones here. Can I even get two with speed? All right, there we go. Again, just for the sake of time, put them in speed there. Pretty harsh, though. Uh, do we have any life stealers with speed left? No. All right. Well. Ah, uh, uh, misclick. That was annoying. All right. Well. You know, sometimes you just gotta wait until you can get it. All right. Equip. Damage, HP, crit damage and damage, equip. Uh, whatever. Crit damage and attack, that's good. Uh, we need to get him in one more armor piercing here. For the set bonus. Oh, good speed roll there. Damage and crit damage, that's a good mod actually. Um, do we have a one and a three here for life stealer at all? No. All right, well, we're back to armor piercing, I guess. We only have one three. That's a bummer. Yeah, this isn't going to be great for Frodo, but he's the least important. So, whatever. We got him mods. 9803. He's the weak link. Surprise, surprise. All right, so 9800 is our weakest now. Let's go ahead and see what they do in Arena real quick see how well they alter the team uh let's see do we want to go against why not Forty-two thousand elves ugluck and ironhide and we are now up to fifty-two thousand. let's see how we do i don't know I mean, obviously, we have the G or the uh, combat power advantage now. And we're definitely going to go first. Because we were blazing fast to begin with. So even with all the speed mods I put on everybody else, Frodo got none. He's still the fastest. So that's a plus. Yeah. Yeah, the speed has improved because I don't think he should be going next normally. And look at this. We can get the regeneration and might up right away because of the Lembus. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw on the taunt. All right, let's get big hit here. Big hit. Not too shabby so far. All right, now they're going to start going. That's going to be a whiff. All right, we already got our haste up and running from Mary. That's good stuff. We have our heal up. We've got our blind. I don't really want to use it on you. So we'll see if we can just get another turn. Big hit. Okay. I didn't see the numbers on his life steal. It went a little too fast. Maybe I'll, I'll lower the speed here in a minute. Let's see what kind of hit Frodo can get with all this armor piercing on this tank on his big hitter. Put it in one time speed. Oh, that's painfully slow. But let's see the number. 6,000. Pathetic. All right. That was terrible. I don't know why I still keep expecting things out of Frodo. Give him all these bonuses. He's still just trash. All right. Now we can get the blind. Got some extra focus. 
which I'm going to tell myself help make the blind stick. All right. Starting to beat me up a little bit more than I would like. Get some more hits out there. Nice. Now we can get the force taunt on Lord Elrond. So hopefully we can get him out of here. Bye-bye. Perfect. All right. Start going in on his kids. Get off Strider. All right. Uh, let's see what kind of healing he's going to get back from this. Plus 28, 39, 27. So not, not going to change the universe. You know, let's just try to get Ugluck luck out of here. Oh, let's get back on three speed. Team is definitely stronger. I was hoping for a little bit more, but it definitely seems like we're going to beat this team. Yeah, we're going to beat this team. So it is an upgrade. Uh, I still don't really want to use it on you. Let's see if I can get it on Ugluck luck here in a minute. Big hits. Let's just try to get the tank out. Since he is very annoying. Pippin already getting that back up. You know what? Skip it. I'll blind you. You have too many taunts. I can't get through to Ironhide. Alright, let's see if he can get a bigger hit this time. Come on. Show us why we should even consider you playing on any of our teams get a crit over like 12 not even close cool 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 frodo you're still trash all right we got the haste up bueno let's get you out now elro here goes might get this team out with my full team still alive of course of course you went under stealth just to kill my Strider, didn't you? Oh, he didn't hit Strider. Nice. Bye-bye. Put it on auto. All right, so there we go, guys. Um, hopefully, this video didn't drag too much. I just wanted to let you guys see my process and talk over some of the fine points that you want to look for, which the best way I thought to do that was just to show you exactly what I'm doing and how it works. So hopefully, this helps. Remember... Main stats are mostly going to stay the same. Once you get to that number, uh, what, four, five, and six slot, they're going to change a little bit. But frankly, speed is so important in this game. I would, I would put the secondary stat of speed over the priority, whatever that first stat is. Uh, let me pull somebody back up here again so I can talk about this. That's how important speed is. Like, I, I'm sorry that I'm saying it so much, but it's something that you absolutely have to understand. If you have a hero that's going to put a bunch of Banes out, look for Focus as a secondary stat. If you have somebody like Strider, Damage, Critical Chance, Critical uh, Damage. If you have somebody that isn't really in the team to do damage, any kind of support hero, you want Speed, Health, Resistance if possible, Focus if it's somebody like Morza that is going to put some debuffs. And if you ever have a question about which particular stat does which it actually gives you a nice little uh succinct summary here like focus capability of putting on banes resistance capability to resist banes block mitigation all that's going to be spelled out right here in case you forget so that will be the first video uh i'm doing for the glyphs hopefully they help a lot again if you have any questions comments concerns feel free to leave them in the comments section down below but i will be making a bunch more videos if you have a specific hero that you want to see what my recommendations for glyphs are, leave it in the comments section down below or get a hold of me on you know Twitter or Discord or whatever you got to do. Just get a hold of me and I'll see what I can do to help you guys. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming content. And as always, have fun. Good luck. So I got that going for me, which is nice.